December 25th will bring many reasons to celebrate. It's an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ, but in astronomy, that day is also the two-year anniversary of the launching of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's greatest space-based observatory of all time. Launched on Christmas Day 2021, James Webb has been our cosmic workhorse, revealing the universe in a whole new light with unprecedented resolution and wavelength coverage. To celebrate its second birthday, James Webb has astronomers feeling festive as it recently allowed them to image a distant, colorful cluster of galaxies they have dubbed the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster. In this cluster, the James Webb Space Telescope discovered flickering Christmas lights in the form of 14 new transient objects, celestial objects that brighten dramatically before fading away. The Winter Wonderland is officially called Max 0416 and is located about 4.3 billion light years from Earth, said Ha Jin Yen, an associate professor in the University of Missouri's Department of Physics and Astronomy. We're calling Max 0416 the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster both because it's so colorful and because of the flickering lights we find within it. Transients are objects in space, like individual stars, that appear to suddenly brighten by orders of magnitude and then fade away. These transient objects appear bright for only a short period of time before disappearing. It's like peering through a shifting magnifying glass. Spotting so many transients in this galaxy was achieved by teaming the JWST with the Hubble Space Telescope. The sheer number of transients spotted in one go thanks to the duo implies there are many more yet to be found within the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster. It's almost like a Christmas gift for astronomers that keeps on giving. The light from the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster began its journey across the cosmos when the solar system, now 4.6 billion years old, was newly formed and just around 300 million years old, explained the text. Ordinarily, this would make it too faint for even the Webb telescope to see in detail. But a little trick first acknowledged by Albert Einstein made observing this cosmic Christmas a bit easier. In his 1915 theory of general relativity, which concerns the nature of gravity, Einstein said objects of great mass must warp the very fabric of space and time, united as a single entity called space-time, giving rise to a curvature we experience as gravity. When anything, including light, passes through these curved regions of space, its path gets curved as a result. When an object passes between Earth and a distant light source, the light from that background object takes a varied amount of time to reach us, as its path isn't following a straight line due to the curvature created by the intervening object. This can ultimately cause that background object to appear amplified from our vantage point. This concept is called gravitational lensing, as the intervening object acts as a natural cosmic magnifying glass. James Webb has been tapping into this phenomenon with great success to see some of the universe's earliest galaxies, and its view of the Christmas tree galaxy cluster is its latest example. In this picture, we can see many transients in certain regions due to gravitational lensing, which is magnifying galaxies behind this cluster. Right now, we have this rare chance that nature has given us to get a detailed view of individual stars located very far away, while we are currently only able to see the brightest ones. If we do this long enough and frequently enough, we will be able to determine how many bright stars there are and how massive they are. The transients were found by Yen and the team as they were looking at four sets of images captured by James Webb over around four months as part of the James Webb Space Telescope's PEARLS program. The team identified two objects in the images as supernova explosions that happen as stars reach the end of their lifespans. We are thrilled by this result, as we can now use those supernovas to study the galaxies in which they occur, explained the text. Moreover, the astronomers also found something else extraordinary in the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster, a monster star in a galaxy seen as it was when the universe was just 3 billion years old. They have named the star Mathra after the monster MTH Kaiju from Japanese cinema. The galaxy in which Mathra lurks was lensed to around 4,000 times its original brightness. The object lensing this galaxy is currently unknown but Yen and the team estimate it has a mass between 10,000 to 1 million times that of the Sun. As Jose Diego, research lead author and a scientist at the Institute de Física de Canabria, said in a separate statement, the most likely explanation is a globular star cluster too faint for the James Webb Space Telescope to see directly. However, we don't know the true nature of this additional lens yet.
What's extra interesting about Math's galaxy is that it was also visible and lensed in Hubble Space Telescope images taken nine years ago. Normally, a lensing object and a background galaxy would move out of alignment over such a period, but Math's home galaxy and the object lensing it seem to have stuck together. In the future, Yen and the team hope to both figure out the nature of this lensing object and uncover some of its characteristics. As Yen concluded, I will be able to understand the detailed structure of the magnifying glass and how it relates to dark matter distribution. This is a completely new view of the universe that's been opened by James Webb. One of two papers detailing the observation of the Christmas tree galaxy cluster was published in November in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, while the other has been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal, with a preprint available on the research repository AR14. Notably, this James Webb shot isn't the only Christmas-themed image in space this year. Just a few weeks ago, an image of Copia A, the remains of a star that exploded 340 years ago, was unveiled by First Lady Jill Biden as part of a new White House advent calendar. These images and others follow a long tradition of astronomers and other stargazers connecting the season of light with cosmic phenomena occurring light years from Earth. But there is genuine scientific wonder involved in some of these festive observations. Unlike the Christmas tree galaxy cluster, Copia A is a lot closer to home. Scientists have long studied the violent stellar explosion and others like it to figure out their role in cosmic evolution. They help galaxies grow. Danny Milovich, an astrophysicist at Purdue University who studies Copia A, wrote in an email, Supernova remnants also create the elements needed to sustain life like the oxygen we breathe, the iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones. At 11,000 light-years from Earth, Copia A has been observed by a variety of space telescopes in visible X-ray and infrared wavelengths, but the Webb's new infrared vision affords a better view. In April, NASA released an image of the supernova remnant using the telescope's mid-infrared instrument. The latest snapshot makes use of the Webb's near-infrared camera, which captured gas, dust, and molecules radiating at warmer temperatures. The pink and orange structures enveloped in smoky material against a glittering backdrop of stars resemble an ornament hanging from a tree branch. As Dr. Milovich said, two years ago, Webb launched flawlessly on Christmas morning. At the time, I thought it was the best Christmas gift ever. But the telescope is the gift that keeps giving. What's interesting is James Webb isn't the only observatory sending us Christmas gifts. A distant star-forming nebula that looks like a turkey fleeing a cosmic Christmas dinner has just been captured in a new image by the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. The festive photo features the star-hatching clouds of gas and dust that comprise the Nebula IC 2944, located around 6,500 light-years from Earth. IC 2944 has a distinctly fowl-like appearance, so astronomers have nicknamed it the Running Chicken Nebula. In the stunning new 1.5 billion pixel Very Large Telescope image, the wispy gas and dust tendrils of the nebula glow in red, pink, and orange, punctuated by bright blue stars like lights shining on a Christmas tree. The running chicken nebula is about 71 light years wide and lies toward the constellation of Centaurus. It contains several separate regions, all of which are present in the new image, which covers a patch of the sky as wide as 25 full moons. The brightest region, which appears as the rear of this cosmic fowl, is known as IC 2948. This area is stuffed with bright gas and dust plumage, punctuated with bright blue light from hot young stars. These stars spread throughout the rest of the nebula as well, carving this cosmic chicken by emitting vast amounts of ultraviolet radiation, which disperses gas and dust, thus helping to curtail further star formation. But some regions of the running chicken, known as Bach globules, are resisting this high-energy radiation and can be seen as dark, dense pockets of gas and dust sprinkled around the nebula. Further up, the celestial chicken is a bright, vertical, pillar-like structure called IC 2944, which appears almost like a chicken wing in the process of flapping. Atop IC 2944 is the twinkling star Lambda Centauri, which is closer to Earth than the running chicken nebula at just 470 light-years away. The star is so bright that it's visible from Earth with the naked eye. In the upper right of the image, 
Two emission nebula regions of superhot ionized gas called GUM-39 and GUM-40 make up the head of the running chicken. A further emission nebula, GUM-41, can be seen to the lower right of the image, forming the foot of the cosmic chicken. Completing the new image is a sprinkling of white and blue stars that resemble falling flakes of snow. Each one is as unique, individual, and complex as an actual snowflake. Meanwhile, elsewhere in space to celebrate the festive season. The Hubble telescope has also just gifted us a dazzling, starry snow globe that resembles a wonderland of Christmas lights. The image's subject is the billion star containing UGC 891, an irregular dwarf galaxy located within the constellation Virgo some 7 million light years from Earth. To create the luminous chromatic effect we see, scientists compiled data captured by the Hubble Space Telescope's Wide Field Camera 3 an advanced camera for surveys between 2006 and 2021. They ran the data through 12 filters that sampled both broad and narrow wavelengths covering mid-ultraviolet to visible red light. The Hubble Space Telescope's comprehensive view of UGC 891 reveals a galaxy teeming with a billion stars, each contributing to its irregular dwarf structure. Located within the constellation Virgo, approximately 7 million light-years from Earth, UGC 891 presents a stunning celestial canvas. The galaxy's unique irregular shape suggests a tumultuous history of interactions with neighboring galaxies, gravitational encounters that have shaped its current form over billions of years. Within UGC 891, ongoing star formation processes are evident, as seen in the bright knots and nebulous regions dotting its spiral arms. These stellar nurseries, fueled by dense clouds of gas and dust, are where new stars are born. The Hubble's advanced imaging capabilities allow astronomers to study the life cycle of stars within UGC 891, from their formation in these dusty cocoons to their eventual emergence as hot, luminous giants that illuminate the galaxy. In addition to its stellar population, UGC 891 harbors intricate dust lanes that crisscross its disk, obscuring the light from stars behind them and creating a striking visual contrast against the bright star clusters and nebulae. These dust lanes play a crucial role in the galaxy's evolution, influencing the formation of stars and serving as reservoirs for future star formation. Studying galaxies like UGC 891 provides astronomers with insights into the broader processes of galactic evolution and star formation across cosmic time. By analyzing the distribution of stars, gas, and dust within UGC 891, scientists can piece together its history and understand how interactions with neighboring galaxies have shaped its morphology and composition. Beyond individual galaxies, astronomers also study galaxy clusters, vast cosmic structures containing hundreds or even thousands of galaxies bound together by gravity. These clusters, like the famous Coma Cluster or Virgo Cluster, offer a unique window into the large-scale structure of the universe and the distribution of dark matter, an elusive substance that comprises a significant portion of the universe's mass. Dark matter, although invisible and undetectable through conventional means, exerts a gravitational influence on galaxies and galaxy clusters. Its presence can be inferred from the way galaxies move within clusters and the gravitational lensing effects observed in deep space images. The distribution of dark matter within galaxy clusters provides crucial clues about the universe's formation and evolution, shedding light on the processes that have shaped its large-scale structure over billions of years. Observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope play instrumental roles in studying dark matter and its effects on the cosmos. By observing gravitational lensing phenomena and mapping the distribution of mass within galaxy clusters, Astronomers can create detailed models of dark matter distribution and test theories of cosmology. One such theory is the Lambda Cold Dark Matter, Lambda CDM, model, which posits that dark matter and dark energy dominate the universe's composition and evolution. According to this model, dark matter acts as a gravitational scaffold around which ordinary matter, such as stars and galaxies, congregates and forms structures over cosmic time. Gravitational lensing, as observed by telescopes like Hubble and Webb, provides direct evidence of dark matter's gravitational influence. By studying the distortion of light from background galaxies as it passes through a galaxy cluster, astronomers can map the distribution of dark matter and compare it with simulations based on the Lambda-CDM model. 
These observations help refine our understanding of dark matter's properties and its role in shaping the universe on both large and small scales. In addition to studying dark matter, astronomers use telescopes like Hubble and Webb to investigate the nature and evolution of supermassive black holes, enigmatic cosmic objects found at the centers of most galaxies. These black holes, with masses millions or even billions of times that of the Sun, exert a profound influence on their host galaxies through processes like accretion and powerful jets of ionized gas. Supermassive black holes are thought to form and grow through the accretion of gas and the merging of smaller black holes over cosmic time. As matter spirals into a black hole's event horizon, it heats up and emits intense radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, from X-rays to radio waves. This emission can be detected by telescopes like Hubble and Webb, allowing astronomers to study the properties of black holes and their impact on galaxy evolution. One of the most famous examples of a supermassive black hole resides in the center of the Milky Way galaxy, approximately 26,000 light-years from Earth. Known as Sagittarius A asterisk, this black hole has a mass equivalent to about 4 million suns and exhibits variability in its emission, suggesting ongoing accretion of surrounding gas and dust. Studying Sagittarius A asterisk and other supermassive black holes provides valuable insights into the processes of galaxy formation and evolution. These black holes are believed to play a crucial role in regulating star formation within their host galaxies, as their powerful jets and radiation can heat and disrupt the surrounding gas clouds, suppressing the formation of new stars. Furthermore, telescopes like the Hubble and Webb enable astronomers to study the atmospheres of exoplanets planets located outside our solar system. By analyzing the light that passes through or reflects off these distant worlds, scientists can determine their atmospheric composition, temperature, and even the presence of potential biomarkers, signs of life that may indicate habitable conditions. Recent advancements in observational techniques have allowed astronomers to detect thousands of exoplanets orbiting nearby stars. These discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of planetary systems and their diversity, revealing that planets come in a wide range of sizes, compositions, and orbital configurations. Future space observatories such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope promise to further expand our knowledge of exoplanets and their potential for harboring life. These missions will use advanced instrumentation and techniques to study exoplanetary atmospheres in unprecedented detail, paving the way for future missions to search for signs of life beyond Earth. In conclusion, telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge, revealing the wonders of the cosmos and unraveling the mysteries of dark matter, supermassive black holes, and exoplanetary systems. With each new observation, these observatories provide valuable insights into the origins, evolution, and diversity of the universe, inspiring generations of scientists and deepening our appreciation of the vastness and complexity of space.